Hello everyone, so today we are going to be playing a game called Invitation. So just like a small brief description about the game. So it says, the night is dark and the rain keeps hitting the windshields of your car. An inexplicable breakdown forces you to stop and to keep going on foot. This is when you spot a few hundred yards ahead the glow of a strange forgotten house in the middle of the woods. Invitation is a short horror game. It's an old school 2D point and click game created and designed independently and personally. A gameplay and a story that are pretty simple and are inspired by classic horror cinema and its stereotypes. A breakdown in the middle of nowhere, a storm and a house with a supernatural atmosphere. A place that, behind its cozy aspect, reveals hints to a dark secret to terrifying revelations. Alright, so without further ado, let's just jump right in. Okay, so it has warning. Some aspects of this game's contents may offend the sensibilities of young players or viewers. Some advice. This game is best played with headphones or earbuds and in low light. A detail. This game does not feature any inventory. Objects that are picked up during the game will be automatically used by clicking on the areas where they are required. Alright, seems simple enough. God, it's been such a while since I played like a point and click game, especially on a web browser. Somewhere in France. Oh, there's a full screen. Oh, okay, nice. Damn it. Please, not now. Okay, let's stay calm. The town isn't that far on foot. Where did I put my flashlight? Um, probably in the glove compartment. Wait, is that ACDC? Yo, let's go. Okay. Yes, head out. A few minutes later. Hmm? Those lights. Is that a house? They might have a phone. Uh, oh, there's another car. There's no one there. It seems recent. Dear God, what is... Who's screaming like that? I don't think you should go investigate it. That, that's how you're gonna get killed. Fuck. I don't know what was that, but... This is weird. Well, I hope someone can help me. It doesn't seem to be much of use. myself first. I can hear some noise in the open room on the right. Uh, what the heck? Is this a joke? Oh, um, that sound, it came from the lobby, right? Is it gone? Oh, 
Where's the front door? It was right there, I swear. Okay, something's not right with this place. There might be another exit somewhere in the house. Oh god. Bad choice on you to go in here. So we got a key. Someone removed the photos from the frames. But why? These patterns must mean something. Looks like a bowl, a sword, and then a female head. It's not working. It's stuck at 3 a.m. Doesn't even budge. It must be condemned. It's locked. I don't have the key to this door. Alright, upstairs we go. What the heck is that? Uh, <laughs> he's like, some privacy, please. Completely dry. There are moist, half torn clothes in the bathtub. They seem to belong to a man and a woman. There is a key stuck in the drain. I can't reach it. I'm going to need a tool to get it out. Probably will look awful. <laughs> That's what you're worried about? Oh my god. I used the key that I found in the lobby table. It's open now. Oh, the music. What's this? Some sort of jewelry box. When I shake it, I can hear something inside. Oh, the music reminds me of like the the save room from like Resident Evil. God, that brings such nostalgia. Okay. So it seems, yeah, these are the symbols that we saw in front. So it was the bowl, the sword, and then the female head. Right? Uh, no. Or is it the other way around? Oh, interesting, okay. Such a tragic look. This is a private diary. Some pages have been torn out. It's locked. I don't have the key to the safe. Strange, it seems attached to the floor. Interesting. I can see something massive prowling around the house. It's too dark outside to make out what it is. This wardrobe is empty. Pictures of the local area. Nothing weird. What was that? Okay, better not disturb the forces that haunt this place. I mean, you kind of already have, but, um... Sure. <laughs> okay... Yeah, so, it's the bold sword and then the female head. Um... So, the bowl... Or then female head. Oh, not that. <laughs> um. Hold up. Hold up. That's something different now. Okay. So, circle, diamond, and inverted triangle so circle diamond inverted triangle so okay circle diamond and an inverted triangle
There you go. The key. So what would that open though? Uh, right. Probably the bottom. Yes. I used the key that I found in the jewelry box. It's open now. <laughs> okay, that's the go back guy. I thought that was another room. The light bulb must have burnt out. It seems to be an incense burner. The smell is weird. It's making me dizzy. Another one of those things. Just like in the lobby. What's down here? Oh god. The fuse box seems intact. Yet the basement is still dark. What's here? Some sort of display stand for a sword. The weapon is missing. Okay, probably find a weapon. He's giving me chills. What's this? Someone left prints on three of the alphabetical keys. Three keys. It means there's only six possible combinations. By process of elimination, I should be able to find the right one. Okay, let me look at the other stuff first. Some jars, some rags, and what seems to be formaldehyde. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. My apologies. Oh, what is that? There are some pliers in the jar along with this thing. The lid is sealed. There's only one way to get the tool. Throw it, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! What the hell? Fuck, you piece of shit! It seems stuck. It's not going to let go. <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> okay, so let's guess this. Okay, so the code is EAD. I did it. And we're met with paper. Dearest member of the host society, this invitation is to be handed over once you arrive at the temple. Be punctual. And then on the bottom it has like, I assume probably like some kind of serial code. And then whatever this thing is. Are they all the same? So 36, 15, 42. Yeah, they're all the same. Huh. Interesting. I think I heard like whispers or something. Here whispers. What the hell? He was in the bathroom. Jeez. Man, a guy can't get like some privacy in this house. Poor guy. Some chemical stripper. The label indicates high acidity. I know where I'm using that. There might be something under there. This house is making me paranoid. Me. Yeah, I would be too. I 
might be able to use that chemical shooter. Let's pray it works. Holy cow. Poor guy. Okay, so where would I use those pliers? Um, what kind of bullshit is this? The door is closed. The key doesn't fit anymore. What the hell? Oh, oh, fuck. It's stuck. Come on, move. I'm trapped. Yo. Shit. What happened? <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> to be fair, where are the fuck did it come from? Oh, I can go back out now. Oh. Oh, I think they're... Can you use them here? How do I use the... Wait, I use it to get this this key. Yep. Forgot that the key was there. That's one less problem. changed. Where did the room go? I know this painting. What happened to the room? I might be going mad. Insane. The backside of the tapestry is covered in stains and mold. Oh, you better quickly get out of there if you don't want to get mold poisoning. Still the same painting. This place is getting creepier by the minute. Am I even still in the house? Probably not. Oh, whoa, what the hell is that? Oh man, I'm going to be sick. It seems alive. Cool. What does it say? It seems to be from a private diary. It begins in the middle of a sentence, and I remember it quite well. Winter had already covered the whole area with its great white coat. The wind was blowing through the top of the great pine trees. I was pacing up and down, bathed in the soft light of the fireplace. The warm color was contrasting with the sapphire tones of the drapes. The choice I made that night opened to meet all the doors that had remained closed until then. That's all. It might have been something to do with this colored door. Strange contraption is locking the door. The answer must be close by. Yeah, it's probably from this, so... Okay, so... So it's going to be white, green, red, and blue. Probably should have written that down. 
so white white green red blue I did it the door is unlocked I hope something doesn't come out of that whatever that is the television is picking up the image of a corridor wait is that the one I went through? Oh! Holy shit! What the hell is that? Shit! Fuck, 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 what do I do? Do I go out? Do I stay there? It has to be the same corridor. Those things are waiting for me outside. Um, what happened? Use the key that I found in the sink's drain. It's open now. Uh... Now I have numbers. go all the way back to this I think that so 36 15 42 okay so 36 1542 Oh, fancy. Well, shit. <laughs> Let's hope this is some sort of secret exit. Highly doubt it. Oh, is that an elevator? Oh, one way is to go down. Some of those candles seem to have been put out recently. There might be someone else here. I don't even know if there's a good sign or not anymore. What's behind it? Oh, better not be a body. What is this? It looks like some sort of altar. Oh no. Damn it, the light! So soon? Oh. Good evening. You are right on time. Who's there? Who's talking? Oh, that's so cool. What? Where did you. Please remain calm. We understand that it must have been a stressful evening for you. Do not be afraid. It will all be over soon. You're... You're the ones responsible for all those twisted things? We merely are the voices that called upon the headhunter. Every four years, 
we gather to present the offerings to the great hunter. This is required for the hunter to grant our family safety and prosperity. Listen, I don't have anything to do with this. And yet, here you stand, answering the invitation of our benefactor. For it is known that the offerings will present themselves to us. Guided on the path by the dark child of the hunter, you must have met them. The creatures had to be quite creative to slow you down enough. Indeed, the first two require some preparation time. Wh what do you mean, the first two? My dearest members of the host society, the time has come. Free the altar. Oh, so soon! Damn, I was waiting for like something more. Is that really the end? Investigation level 31 out of 35. In the game, you will find random elements, decorations, furniture, doors, etc. Investigate them all in the same game, and the secret will be revealed. F fuck! I was missing four. Damn. Going on then. Um. Looks like it's coming from here. Oh. Is is anyone there? Scooby Doo. Can I help you? <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna that that's pretty funny. Oh. This note is for you. Well done. You finished my game. Several playthroughs might have been necessary to reach full completion. You took time to unlock this off-topic ending. Developing a game, even a small one, is a path that, when walked alone, requires a great deal of patience. Invitation is my first experience of the kind, and making it has been like directing a short film with lines of code. And just as a movie is made to be seen, a game is made to be played. You used some of your own time to play and finish one of my creations in its entirety. For that, you have my warmest thanks. Please take good care of yourself, whoever you are, Julian. Wow! No, no, no. Thank you, Julian, for making this game. And this goes out to all the indie developers out there that, you know, are working alone and, like, developing their own game. Like, thank you guys for, like, creating such great pieces and i hope that you i hope the best for all of you all right so with that being said that was invitation